Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we've got an absolute banger. We're gonna be doing a little solo winter camping. I'm gonna be backpacking in with all the essentials, all my camping gear, cooking supplies, and my fishing gear. And the plan is to do a nice little catch and cook over an open flame, caveman style, and find a nice little spot that we can set up our hammock for the night as I explore a river that I've never fished before. It should be a pretty cool video. So we gotta go catch some dinner. All this gear is gonna be on my back. It's all our camping stuff, all our fishing supplies, food and filming gear, all on my back as we explore all this new water. So really just trying to make sure I'm fully prepared for just really that any situation that can arise. And we're pretty much about finished up here. I'm Off we go. Right now, I'm just following in a game trail to the river. Looks like we got probably a good half mile, quarter mile till we get there, but looks like if we keep going straight, should get to the river. And that's why we wear orange. Nobody's in there. That's good. Oh, all right. This is what I expected most of the hike to be. Whoa. Thick. Thick, thick. Should be getting to the river soon. I'm hearing water. Oh yeah, that's water. Sweet. Okay. We have found the river. We have found the river. That looks fishy. Oh, that looks very fishy. Oh my gosh. Guys, we might have struck gold. This looks awesome. And here we are. We have found the river. Wow. That looks so fishy. Slippery. Slippery rocks. Wow. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to go. That looks like a good spot. That looks like a good spot. All right, we gotta go up and then we'll go down. That's the plan, up and then down. What did I just find? Oh my gosh. This looks great. Okay. So like I said, the goal for at least today, I'd like to catch some fish just in general while I'm here, explore some new water, but Really just want to catch a skipper. I don't need a giant steelhead. Anything chrome would be nice, but I really got no business keeping a big adult fish. So if I catch anything like more than what I would eat in a single meal, I'm probably going to be letting it go because I just have no business carrying around meat like that. And I'd just rather take a, a smaller fish than a larger fish. <laughs> if there's a spot that this bobber is going to be dropping, it's right here. So I'm going to get my center pin set up and let's see if we can't get the job done on the first hole. Nothing, huh? I thought I was standing on business, but onwards. It didn't feel too heavy at first, but as you get going, we got some gear on us, people. This looks insane. There's something. Yeah, there's one. There's one. There's this. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. Steely. Steely. Little steely. Little steely. 
Little steely. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect eater too. Oh, it's like the perfect eater. It's the perfect eating size. Oh my gosh. It's the perfect eater size. It's the perfect eater. It's the perfect eater. I gotta get in. Ate the lime bag. And it's a buck. Imagine it's a stalker too. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Got him. Oh my gosh, a little stocked male. Are you kidding me? Guys, this is best case right here. Absolute best case. Perfect eater. Okay, we gotta euthanize this fish real quick. Really cannot ask for a better fish than this. We just got a stocked fish, looks like it's a male, and hailed this bag, first of all. On the new Atlas Mike color, by the way. This is that lime green color. Perfect eater. Stocked fish. It's a male. Like I said, I didn't want anything too big. This will be plenty, and I'll make good use of this. But first, very imperative, you guys, that you bleed these fish out right away. We want this fish to dump all the blood. This is his main artery right here. Cut that out. I'm going to go massage the blood out of this fish in the water, and we got a nice tasty dinner. Tip that you guys can do is if massage these fish upside down like this you can get some additional blood out as you can see there's some blood squirting out all right there we have it that is dinner this bald eagle just came that thing just came flying right down at me what is that thing doing that bald eagle just came right down at me guys All right, we found our our campsite. It's perfect. This has to be my favorite duffel bag of all time. I got this as a gift, the Sims G3 dry bag. It, it, it's insane. I've brought this thing on so many camping trips. It has never let me down, knock on wood, but this thing is legit. Here, I'm gonna get this hammock set up. Get the hammock set up, get the sleeping bag packed in. and uh, go from there. This is the uh, the Jungle Nest Hammock by Eno, or Eno. I would honestly recommend a double hammock if you're gonna feel inspired to go out and try this. So this is the sleeping pad that I've used. I've had this for several years now. It has an R value of 4.4. It's rated for a four season camp. And I've used this many times and it has kept me nice and toasty in the winter. And if you can afford the space, another layer of insulation, like a little a blanket, a small blanket that can pack down. A drug rug, as you could call this, works perfect. Last but not least, the sleeping bag. We got another climate bag. This is just a 20 degree bag. Honestly, I would recommend maybe going a little bit lower, like a zero degree bag this time of year. I think tonight it's gonna get like 25 degrees. So kind of gonna be pushing the limits on this a little bit. Just let this sit nice and loose. There we have it. This is our uh, sleeping bag configuration. As far as like a pillow goes, I'll just use uh, my extra sweatshirts or whatever, but this is where we will be sleeping tonight. There she is. It's camp for the night. That's crazy how fast that lights. Nice dry birch. Oh, it smells so good too. That's crazy.
Alright, so as I said earlier guys, we're going to be going caveman style for this catch and cook. So the idea is we're going to try to find a nice live branch, probably about yay big, and we're going to split the log straight in half and we're going to kind of butterfly the, the whole fish. I'm just trying to get some coals going on the bottom here so then we can have just a nice, nice even heat and uh, probably going to get cooking here in a little bit. It's tough to beat these 7 inch Rapala blades, man. These are like the OG blades. That is sharp, sharp. Boom. Head gone. The idea is we want to keep this backbone in and we're going to butterfly it all the way through. I've never filleted a fish like this, but I just understand the logic behind it because we want to lay flat open like this. So we got to pull the, we got to pull the spine out right here. Oh, nice. Yup. Okay, it just freed up a bunch. I think we're getting it right here. Nice. Yup. Okay. We're getting that out. This might just pull right out now that I think about it. Yup. Perfect. Boom. There it is. We just got the central chunk, the spine out. So that's what we're left over with, guys. We got a nice open butterfly fillet right here. Perfect. That is exactly what we that is what we're gonna be munching on tonight. Actually exceeded my expectations and looked very good. So the idea is we're gonna hoist it right on this stick as such. We're gonna run T-posts across it. Sweet, best case right here, guys. There it is, there we have it. The caveman catching cook. And we're just gonna dangle that over the fire and it should cook up awesome but that is what she's gonna be looking like this is <laughs> this is so crazy dude <laughs> oh. I'm gonna give this a nice generous pour of some catching cooks lemon pepper seasoning here generous dousing kind of waiting for this to die down a tad and it looks crazy but it's gonna work I ended up dicing up some potatoes last night before I came out and they are conveniently wrapped in this tin foil right here just got some like medallion potatoes gonna cook that in these coals I'm gonna just pack her up in this tin foil Kind of let it sit on the side of these coals a little bit. It's actually comical what is going on here. I did prepare these. Last night, I know, I know. But, what are you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna click off the video now? Because I made potatoes last night. I'm gonna butter these guys up pretty good. This will get devoured. I think I'm just gonna kinda wrap it back up so it melts a little faster. It doesn't look bad at all. I just flipped it over this way so then we can cook the tail. It seemed like it was favoring this upper part. She is getting pretty close to done here. All right. Steely on a stick, baby. Order up. It is done, guys. And I want complete transparency. Do not gaslight me right now. I want to know if you guys would actually eat this and be 100% honest. I think it turned out pretty good. Just before I show you, I think it turned out really good. Comment if you would if you would dive into this. That is how it turned out. I will I'm gonna probably be eating this entire thing. I mean you can see it's cooked all the way through. Nice. Nice chunk right there. Dude. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like Steelhead's the greatest fish of all time. It's very good. Don't get me wrong, but that is not bad at all. If I were to put it on the town scale, if I were to like 
actually make a 10 out of 10 pizza on ice cream and a one being dirt. This is like an eight, 7.9 and eight. It's honestly great. I, I just think it's kind of hilarious. Out of all the years that I've been making these videos, I've never done a steelhead catch and cook. So I was like, you know what? It's time. And especially on my last video, when I did my five day float with Steve, I got all these comments. How dare you let go all those beautiful steelhead fishes and doesn't kill all, all their fish to eat. I guess I owe them one. It's good. Fine. You guys are right. Still, I taste good. But you know what? I had too much gear on me on, on that trip, and I just didn't want to freaking have any more. And dive into the little the medallion potatoes here. That is like a nine. How appetizing does this look to you, and would you eat it? I, I genuinely want some comments. And has anybody ever tried to do this before? And I'd have to say it was a success. Ten out of ten in my books. Pretty much clean play club for the most part, but I did start getting kind of full. Nonetheless, I mean... That's all the skin right there. This part didn't really cook the best, but I got demolished. Well, I think that's all she wrote, guys. The sun is now setting. This is what it's all about, man. I love it. I love it. Just gonna slide on in. That sounded weird. That's it, guys. This is what she looks like for the night. Just got all set up. This is the, the winter struggle right here, getting dark at 5 o'clock at night. So I'm going to try to at least stay up as long as I can, probably dilly-dally on my phone for a couple hours, try to make it to like 9 o'clock, and then, I mean, it's not even going to be bright till 7. So we got 13 hours of darkness to kill. So awesome day. So thankful that I'm able to do this. And if you're making it this far into the video, I salute. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I'm having a tough time getting out of this sleeping bag right now. It is chilly out. Interesting night, not gonna lie. I didn't sleep as good as I thought I would. There's some there's some creatures around for sure. I don't know what the heck it was, but I heard some loud and I mean like I could feel the ground vibrating. Some sort of critter got pretty close to me and it was a weird it sounded big, and I don't know what the heck it was. Bears should be in hibernation right now. But I do not think it was a deer. It was weird. But goal for today is to try to find some nice water and see if we can't stick it to one or two nice fish. It's 21 degrees out right now and there's wind, so I don't know what the wind chill is, but I am quite nippy, to say the least. The booties on these waders are not letting my feet in. I have never struggled to put my waders on so bad. I might honestly make the fire again. Oh, there's totally a steelhead in this bend. We gotta figure out a way to fish this. I'm on the wrong side. This looks insane. It's so dense forest that like, you can't even really cast at some of these spots.
This is where we caught the eater yesterday. Imagine we double up. There's one. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's a nice one. Hit behind that rock. It's a better one. It's a better one. Is that hook set looks like an actual wild fish too I'm gonna get her back quick beaut fish Whoa. slipping on the bank beautiful fish first one of the day nice hen clearly came up as of recent starting the day off strong Nice. I'm coming across some rather larger paw prints here. I mean, I know it might sound stupid, but are these coyote or is this a wolf? Because these are pretty large and I know that they have wolf in the area here, but I mean, that's a pretty considerable size paw print right there. I mean, maybe it's a coyote and it melted or something, but if anybody knows, I'd actually really like to know. We're actually making our way back to our vehicle right now, but I'm just gonna make some quick lunch. Just gonna make some ramen. Looking forward to this. I'm starting to get pretty cold and my butt is whooped. We've been, <laughs> we've hiked a lot today to say the least. It's been a while since I fired her up. Hopefully she kicks. Miso ramen. Pretty sure it's from Costco. I don't know why the lid's all messed up, but it's what we're having. Oh, actually, hold up. Leftover beef jerky. Oh, I forgot I brought this. Yes, jalapeno beef jerky. This stuff is good, too. Nice, we've got some carbs and some protein. Be a nice little lunch. I'll let this boil for a little while. This is river water. They'd recommend that if you're going to do this, at least go one minute. So I'm going to let this boil for a whole minute before I throw it in the ramen. Fill this guy up. Now we got to let this thing sit for a little bit. No, I asked you guys if you'd eat the steelhead, but 
I ain't gonna ask for the ramen because I already know you guys would munch on this. Mm -hmm. I need this. I need carbs. I need sodium. And I need to get out of here. Hope you guys like the outdoor backpacking solo winter camp caveman catch and cook thing. Depending on how this video does, um, I'd definitely be open to doing it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna scarf this and I'm gonna make the final trek back to my truck and call it a day. I got a, I got a pretty far drive ahead of me, but happy holidays. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay safe until next time.